Hello folks. Well, I didn't get to fly my J3 Cub a couple of weeks ago when I attended the farmer's fly-in. It's been really hard to fly at the local airport where I usually fly due to the crop dusters taking off and dropping in and unannounced on the radio every 20 minutes from dawn to dusk. But lucky for me, after making the video on the farmer's fly-in that was hosted by Dave Bolt for many, many years, I got a text from Anna Henning, the contest director of that event and new owner of the flying field, to attend one of their club meetings. I was a bit leery of it because I thought, especially after the event, there were hundreds of members which would make it difficult to fly, you know, when you have to wait in line to fly. But it turned out the club only has seven members. In fact, as a lifetime member of the AMA, I can fly there any time I want. But after meeting with them and their laid-back attitude, I decided to join. Here I can actually fly off a grass field, which is much easier than a cement runway, and I don't have to worry about the full-size aircraft. So here's a few of the members and how my J3 Club flight went. So. Terry McMahon. Terry? Yes. Dave Herbert. Hi, Dave. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. President of the club, I got invited up here. Yeah. And he'll fill me in a little bit, so that's great. Yeah, and this is my wife, Ilea. She's my camera girl. Oh, well, there you go. Dave Herbert. Dave Herbert, Roger Harvey. Roger Harvey? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah. It's my sister. That's what she told me. Yeah. He's my brother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, sir. Yeah. You're a gentleman on this caller. Sure. Yeah, they only go 60 miles an hour in real life. <laughs> you know. Okay, folks, we're out here at the Southwest Flyers Flying Site. This is where the Farmer's Fun Fly was. As you can see, it's pretty windy, but we're going to be taking off in this direction.
that flight, so, man, I love it. 